cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's your pop? What's going on in the life of a cancer between the 1st and the 15th of December? Hmm? Hmm? Are y'all handling these damn retrograde shifts <laughs> kindly? <laughs> Positively accepting and embracing the elements of change and lessons? Hmm? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if it's your first time viewing my channel, look out. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This will be for my summer rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Cancer between the 1st and 15th of December. Um, <clears throat> oh, to the new subscribers, hey, family. Welcome to the family. We are dysfunctional. We cry. We cuss. We don't fight and fuss. We do that shit on other people's channel. Mope don't play that. <laughs> but we do share love and light and grow and evolve. And so positive vibes only over here. We don't do no judgment. For people who, um, if this is your first time to, uh, to my channel, y'all, um, and, and you're subscribing, look out. Welcome to the family. To the um, current subscribers, y'all family, what the hell y'all been doing? What's going on? Okay, what y'all know I like digging in your damn business. What's up? <laughs> y'all, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, uh, the subscribes. It really, truly means so much to me, y'all. Thank you for allowing me to share my life with y'all. It's been a tough time, y'all, but uh, mm, we made it, okay? So we rocking. If you need that personal, again, that information is in the description. I currently have a reading special going on. It's a separate video, so go check it out. And it ends on Tuesday. Well, I'm, I'm Go check it out. I'm going to get your video up in time for you guys to go check it out. So I love you much. Here we go. Let's rock. So this will be for the sign of Cancer. All right. We'll start with your spirit messages. Now what has been going on? <laughs> spirit. Show me what it you have. Sign of Cancer. Hmm. A lot of you all during this time are going to be keeping things to yourself. You really need to get out your damn head, Cancer. Some of you guys are really overthinking things and it's coming to a point where it's going to be obsessive. I feel that some of you all are really needing to balance your thoughts as well as your mental space during this time. Like your mental space, your physical space. And really, really, really watch where you're putting your energy. A lot of you all may be in thought. You find yourself kind of going on a roller coaster during this time. And it have may have something to do with possibly a twin flame situation. A lot of you all, your intuition is going to be heightened during this time. A lot of y'all may actually be seeing a lot of spiders. Cancer, I feel that you're really not speaking. Like, it's like you have this, some of you all have this all-knowing. And some of you all... We'll be having some type of like prophetic dreams or some type of, um, for those of you who have premonitions, you may receive, receive like films um, through your third eye during this time. And it's having to do with what you're not speaking. Spirit is really trying to get you to move forward. Okay. For some of you all, it's moving forward away from situations that are emotionally kind of binding you at this point it's really no nice way to say it i was trying to clean it up but y'all know we family i gotta say that shit some of you guys are moving from a space of learning from some of the hurtful things that you've gone through okay i feel that during this time a lot of you guys are kind of going to be reflecting okay on you know where you've been you guys got a uh, we, uh, we all have this mercury retrograde going so you guys have people from the past coming back some of you all will, will be in your head about returning to people who could possibly Hurt you in the past, you know? And I feel like there's a need to move forward and let go. For some of you all, you and this other person has gone through a transformation. And some of you all may be, may be having, like, dreams of your future with this person. A lot of you all, there's a need for me to tell you guys. Because some of y'all are really not thinking positive. There's this, like, even when I started 
shuffling to kind of like dig into your energy, you know, to even get started with the video. Y'all, I felt how lovely I had me a whole little spa day today. I was all fabulous. And then I got the feeling all damn heavy. I felt the sense of anxiety. I felt the sense of during this time, a lot of y'all need to take a lot of deep breaths and really extract that energy because some of you all are holding some emotional baggage. And I got to say emotional baggage. Spirit is needing you guys to move forward. And do you see that damn bag? It's like, bag lady, you got to let the shit go. You got to let it go. Let that hurt go, sis. Let it go, bro. Some of you all, I feel that. <laughs> Some of y'all are waiting on clarity from someone in order to move forward, you know, from a situation that could have really, really hurt you in the past. And again, it's just like, this needs to, you know, this is y'all. It's like, cancel y'all, this damn lighting sucks. I'm working on it. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm in the midst of transitioning and it's real. Okay. So I do see cancer. It's like with this man with the sword going down with the damn blood in his hand. Some of you all are really, really wanting to speak a truth during this time. And then you're going to be able, it's like you want to talk some shit, get your point across. That's how you're going to let that shit go. Because you gained the wisdom from it. And especially a lot of y'all are going to be receiving clarity. The clarity that you need and that you expected from a person through your dreams. But some of you all you need to take the lesson as a blessing. So that you can move forward to receive just that the spirit is trying to bestow onto you during this time. A lot of y'all are really needing to trust yourself more because there's this feeling of doubt, lack. It's not enough. Well, why wasn't I enough? Why would this person want to give this person that? Let it go. This man is also bleeding. I've been cut up and I have hella endurance. I'm not really seeing the strength and giving that acknowledgement of my strength and of my endurance to myself, though. I'd rather hold on to the pain behind it. You need to see things a different way in order to help you heal and help you move forward. Okay? Yeah, there's definitely a healing period. Okay? Mind, body, and soul during this time. Mind, body, and spirit, I'd say. All right, so we're going to get into this love sector. Some of y'all also have a new financial beginning. And a lot of y'all are really in y'all head about taking a leap of faith because you worry about, well, if I leave, what's going to happen to June Bug them? And if I leave, how the hell mama going to get all them drunk ass people from standing on the side of the cone off the end? Look, don't worry about that. Let God do God's job. Why don't you tell a friend that these are your worries and let your friends actually be there to assist you. Be there for everybody else. Just makes sense. What you in your head for? There's victory if you move forward. That was for somebody. Spirit, what do you have for cancer and love? The first and the fifteenth of December. That one is fall. Some of you all are really needing to set clear boundaries with the people who are in your energy. Somebody's gonna be setting some boundaries, Cancer, and I feel like you could have been actually having some type of disagreement or possibly internally conflicted on speaking your truth. Okay, when someone comes back to reconcile, some of you are really, <clears throat> some of y'all gonna be. Not not good friends with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius during this time. Some of y'all getting ready to cut off a fire sign. And you, some of y'all already intuitively knowing this person is coming back to want to work it out. And they want you to take that leap of faith and trusting them towards, you know, reconciling and building things again. And for some of you, this, this person is really sincere about it. And I feel like you kind of in your head about, you know, well, in the past, you holding on to the hurt of the situation that you really can't see the changes within you. And you really can't see the growth within this person because you're choosing not to see it because the only thing you want to see is the hurt and what happened back then. You can't change the past, but you can trust the future. It's a choice. Some of you all really want to make an offer or receive an offer. Or, well, I'm sorry, you're going to be making an offer or receiving an offer. Or there's this need to take a leap of faith. You got to make that damn judgment during this time. Um, about moving forward, possibly with an earth sign as well, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all got an Aries wanting to come in and reconcile with you and work it out. And this person, I feel like they're going to want to move slow. And I feel like it's going to, they, they want to come in and like build a friendship. And for some of y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of y'all is like, hell no, build a friendship. We were engaged. We were, we were set to get married. I'm seeing engagement for some of y'all. 
when when possibly cutting this person off or this person cutting you off. For some of y'all, this person just went ghost, and it really caused an internal uproar within you. And for some of you all, there's a need to forgive. I'm literally hearing forgiveness. Woo! Some of you guys are internally conflicted about letting the earth sign back due to the fact that when they actually ghosted you or cut you off in the past and maybe didn't give you that clarity, some of y'all want clarity and you're going to be receiving that clarity regarding some, um, it could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But some of y'all going to find out that somebody, and some of y'all going to find out through the justice system and get that truth and clarity that maybe there was like you were fighting with a fire sign about or earth sign about that, um, Somebody actually had a baby outside the relationship, but that could have been the third party situation in the past that you were having a hard time getting over. And for some of you, you're really going to be in your damn head. Some of y'all really need to go to bed. That was the sense of anxiety I told you that I felt. And it was just like, oh, cancer, what is this? Yeah. Some of you all really want to take a leap of faith with someone. And I feel like this is more Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But some of y'all are just kind of sitting still and staying stagnant. Some of you all. Have a damn new financial opportunity and you just sitting all stuck. What are you doing, Cancer? What are you doing? Some of y'all are just gonna stand. I'm, yep, I can have the world. I have to find the balance, of course, but some of y'all have to choose between two offers, okay? For some of you, it's a fire sign and an earth sign. For some of you, you wanna reconcile with the water sign, but I feel like that situation really brings you a lot of stress and anxiety. For some of you all, that is, there's going to be some type of judgment regarding um, you could be um, dealing with the legal system or some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Libra. Some of y'all dealing with the sign of Aries. Some of y'all dealing with Virgo, <clears throat> Pisces, Taurus. Some of you all are dealing with Scorpio. Some of y'all dealing with Sagittarius. But I feel like for some of you all, you're definitely going to be learning something. And whatever you're learning during this time, some of y'all are going to be cutting someone off or just refusing someone offer to reconcile okay i see cancer a lot of y'all just going to be focused on yourself and some of y'all this is strictly about during this time i just want the truth the whole truth and once you give me the truth then i think about it but you really need to internally heal that hurt because yeah it sounds good on the outside cancer but don't nobody believe that well, i know you would i know you lying you're gonna cry in the car and it's okay you know but you really needed to stand in your authentic truth, okay? I'm going to do a little clarifying for y'all just a little bit. I know y'all like, what? This girl going to clarify? Yes. I, yes. I'm shit some of the time, okay? <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. Got to make y'all smile because I really feel a, an energy of like, can't in their head. My baby's going through it. Spirit, clarify this justice card. Why is the justice card here? Yeah. Some of you all... Some of y'all, even with the marriage, if you're married to a Libra or Earth sign, I feel like some of y'all don't really know if you really want to move forward or you just really want to throw in a damn towel. And this could be after receiving something regarding someone that you could be dealing with or you could be tied to from the justice system, maybe about an outside pregnancy, okay? But some of y'all, this could have to do with some of y'all, I'm hearing unemployment. Some of y'all are waiting on unemployment and I feel like there keeps me in some type of delay. The delay, they gonna unask that delay during this time. You have to be positive, really speak it into your world. What you actually believe is what you will see, okay? Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, some of you all, <laughs> some of y'all cancel, you got an earth sign. This person, some of y'all could work with this person. But cancel, some of y'all have an earth sign that really love you. But you done been through so much damn love and war in the past that you not even trusting it. It's like you, you're just, your back is all up way up against the wall. Even though you want to jump off the cliff, you just going <laughs> to put your toe in the wind just damn how how far is it <laughs> y'all play too much oh why is this food card here for cancer yeah some of you intuitively know you got to make a move it's time to go take a leap of faith and for some of you all it's towards your passions what you've been working on what you've been actually putting your efforts and your creativity into and for some of you it's what you love and it's gonna bring that coin you're birthing something new. For those of you who are business owners or who've been sitting on your ass and not really doing what you're supposed to do towards growing your business, what are you doing? I'm going to get the bill. What you doing, counsel? What the hell are you doing? Uh, y'all who? Y'all y'all remember back in the G, I used to show up with the bill. Y'all going to make me get the bill. Keep on. I'm telling you. Y'all made me get the bill. Why is this hangman here? Yeah. 
Some of y'all are sitting y'all ass still and stagnant on a new opportunity that's going to bring the coin. What are you doing, Cancer? And you in your head about it, thinking, overthinking, not sleeping, not eating, stressing out for what? You better move your ass forward. You don't want look here. When I go, I'm not going with no woulda, no coulda, no damn shoulda. I, this life don't owe me living my best. <laughs> look here. I'm going to do what I want to do. How I want to do it. Because I just really speak nothing but positive in my life. And Cancer, as a fellow cardinal, you got to push forward. You lead the way. You're a pioneer. You're a creator. It's, it's your life purpose. It's what you're here for. For some of you all, it's your destiny to be business owners. But you, some of y'all just got, and I, and I love you to death, but some of y'all just got employee-ass state of minds. And spirits say, no, no. Mercury retrograde finna be on y'all ass. And it's a move forward ass, flighty ass, let's take off Sagittarius. The energy is working for you. Trust the process. Why is the Empress card here? Why is the Empress card here for my Cancer? The first and fifteenth. Yeah, some of you all, spirit is saying, trust your intuition for what it is that you actually believe. If some of you all believe that a person actually cut you off in the past, <laughs> regarding with this Empress card being here, somebody cut you off in the past, you finna get your truth and clarity. Intuitively, you already knew it. Okay, and I feel like that's just a catalyst situation, all right? For some of you all to move forward and choose yourself because this new opportunity you're going to get it in the midst of solitude. For some of y'all, you have a Virgo that wants to come in and work it out with you. They want to put in the work. Why is this tower card here? Some of y'all. Yeah. Some of you all. Some of you all were actually staying in a situation that you were unhappy in during this time because you had a fear of actually moving forward and being like you don't feel that you will be successful by yourself even though you have new opportunities in finances but it's still that doubt let it go let it go spirit is saying have strength let it go stop internally fighting yourself some of y'all is really in y'all damn head about a leo you really love this person you can see stability and growth with this person and i see you can have it but both of y'all stubborn somebody got to get off the damn gas with the stubbornness some of you all, some of y'all cutting off a damn water sign or earth sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, due to the fact that somebody got a lot of options. And I'm going to tell you, whoever saying that, yeah, they do got a lot of op they options, ain't, options ain't shit, dragons and, 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 and stars and, and what the hell is that? Look, weird shit. Just cut them out. Nobody got time for that. You know, for some of you all, you're going to be getting truth and clarity in order to release situations that are no longer healthy for you. And this situation that you knew it was time to go. Some of y'all been had your Nikes ready to run. But then as soon as you get to the damn door, you're getting counsel. Oh, no, I can't go. What's what's wrong with me? Like, no, 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 no. Some of y'all really needing to set clear intentions, okay, and set your boundaries with an earth sign, especially if this person is coming back to reconcile. If you set clear boundaries with this person, I do see you guys being able to move forward, but just don't have no expectations to this person to reconcile on Tuesday and y'all getting married next Friday. Come on. Patience. Okay. <laughs> Patience, family. Ooh. Cancer. Y'all some. I'm going to get the belt next time. Next time I'm showing up pronto with the belt. Yeah, some of y'all are going to be hearing from a fire sign. Some of y'all have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be younger than you. This person could actually be messaging you on social media to make an offer. I see that this, some of y'all got a um, some of y'all got a fire sign stalking y'all. This person wants to make an offer, but this person, I feel like for some of y'all, this person offers just be half assed And I feel like every time they come in your life, they want to reconcile, but then you later get the truth, and it, it, it's like really burdensome. They come in, it, it feels like some of y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of y'all got a wolf and sheep clothing in y'all energy. That is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like this situation is burdensome. And Cancer, some of y'all have a beautiful option, beautiful opportunities. And it's just about you making that judgment to stop cleaning people damn wounds for their ass to get better, get all healed up, and then go. That's just like giving it, giving somebody your damn tea for them to go smile at the next month. I wish you Ooh. Just, you know, you got to know when. Keep your teeth, sis. Keep your teeth, bro. Like, some of you all have maybe, um, I see this could be a water sign or an earth sign. 
in the past or you could be finding out the truth about this person especially if you have a child with this person or if you're dealing with someone who has uh, Aries in their chart or um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart you could really be making a judgment call having to do with an Aries and this could be a, a situation where someone is juggling this could also have to do with a Virgo where someone is just very arrogant, very controlling. They want to do what the hell they want to do. Uh, and it's just like as much as you want to put the effort in the relationship, to be honest with your spirit really wants you to see the value in putting that same energy into yourself during this time. But some of you are going to get truth and clarity about someone. Um, and for some of y'all, this could also be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. But some of y'all are going to be getting um, clarity about a situation where someone was juggling and this could have been <clears throat> you cancer juggling a water sign and a fire sign but there's going to be a judgment kind of made and for some of y'all it definitely involves the legal system but I feel like yeah, and then they go to the damn justice justice card again for some of you it's about there not being an equal level of give and take some of y'all could actually and I'm being real with you some of you could have a love in and they could be dealing with someone they could have they had a three-party situation, possibly with a water sign or a fire sign. And I feel like someone really just wanted that healthy co-parenting. I feel like there's someone on the outside wanted to accept that they accepted the fact that this person is involved. Okay. And, and, and this is the circumstance. But then I feel like somebody's spouse went ghost on them. And some of y'all going to get some child support papers in the mail. I it's, it's, Whoever does that, y'all come in because that is coming out strongly. Some of y'all are just going to tell someone, look out. I'm unhappy. I'm ready to go. Some of y'all have been married to someone for years. I'm hearing the number seven. I'm hearing the number um, 16. That could also be equivalent to the number seven. Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing the number three and I'm hearing the number eight. Some of y'all could have been with people for that long, for the months, the years, the weeks, but I feel that there is love in that situation, but there's not passion. There's not that spark. There's not fulfillment. It's not ever selfish to choose yourself. Remember that. And I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. It's not ever selfish to choose yourself. But some of y'all are going to get some truth and clarity about a situation that you've really been trying to hold on to. And I don't know if it had to do with finances or you just trying to put in all the effort and say that you did everything that you could, you know, before you just chose to walk away from the situation. And for some of you, it definitely could involve a fire sign, but there's needs to heal. And as soon as you heal, baby. Here come that new beginning. <laughs> here come that new shmoney. <laughs> for some of y'all, here come that little Leo. You know, but I'm just saying, for some of you all, there's definitely a need to become friends with the monster up under your bed. And I feel strong, like, really become friends with the monster under your bed, you guys, because some of y'all really having to face your shadow side during this time. and nothing to fear but fear and stuff. That shit ain't real. But as soon as you face it, the most when you kick the damn mountain down and keep it moving, all right? So I'm going to give you guys something positive to roll out on. I actually use this deck. It's called The Universe Having My Back. It's by Universe Having My Back. Universe Has My Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. And I actually use this deck when I need my own enlightenment and my own uplifting. I'm going to give my cancer something positive to roll out on. What spirit has for you? In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right minded thinking and the energy of love. Trust the process, Cancer. Y'all love y'all very much. It may not resonate with everybody, but if you need that personal, hit me up. The information is in the description. Love y'all, booze. See you later.